stuff. Give us a blast beat. in the camp. Hi, my name is John. <laughs> I'm Justin Bernardo and I'm the drum guy. Uh, first things first, uh, you've got to have a good drummer and uh, the next thing is good mics and good pre's. I like to use um, some 1073's, some APIs, some knee 511's and, uh, and a drum kit. Any drum kit will do, as long as you can tune in. So, drums, we're using a what kit? What is it? It's a mix of stuff. A mix of stuff. Francois Lucky Packet kit. Francois yeah. Lucky Packet, yeah. Um, yeah, which, which cost like three and a half grand <laughs> 20 years ago. Uh, oh well, uh, you can tune it, that's the main thing. It doesn't have to be a million dollar drum kit, as long as it can sound good tuned. Uh, microphones, sure. I'm using a bunch of um, the Artist Elite AE 3000s on the toms, uh, Telefunken M80 on the snare, and a Louvet. What's the one with the dynamic and condenser? And it's sounding really great. Uh, in terms of preamps, I'm using 1073s and 511 Neve, uh, Ripper Neves. And then um, I'm also using the Audient, which is great, nice and clean. Uh, the RME Five Face is a great um, interface, and uh, great tools. So uh, we're in the middle room here. Um, we've just been trying to patch Francois in because we've got the the master Justin Bernardo, sound engineering the. Um, drum recording for Fasgefang, which is happening tomorrow morning. Um, it's a new track in Afrikaans. Um, and before any of you are like, oh, he's jumping on the bandwagon. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Everyone in the band is Afrikaans, except for me and Milky Goon Mark. Oh, it's next door. And uh, yeah, we are going to write in Afrikaans. Well, we have written and Sh Shani has written. I've done a fuck on Afrikaans. Um, so yeah, that's the vibe. Um, just have a look what's going on here. We have, um, we flip this around. Oh, that did shit all. And over there we have uh, Justin and Chris. He's all Justin Bernardo, if you can see him in there. Fucking legendary South African sound engineer there. Uh, we used to engineer all our shows back in 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7, ah! which was like a million years ago, wasn't it? And uh, there's Chris, the Chris in his uh, natural habitat, which is uh, found loitering anywhere near or around uh, some sort of audio device. Cool. Christmas, but it doesn't like this. It's quite nice and open. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jesse. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Hey, Chris. Hello. Chris.
I've been writing in Afrikaans for a long time. Uh, it is my home language. Um, I've always felt more comfortable writing in English. Uh, Afrikaans is hard. It's, it's a different thing. It's, um, it's a very young language, so your choice of words are limited much more than in English. And, um, but the words much more powerful in one word than in English. So it was heartwarming um, to write in Afrikaans and to be able to to sing those words in Afrikaans. Um, truly one of my dreams can come true. I'm very happy with him. He's funny, same age as me, so that's awesome. I'm not the youngest person in the band anymore. Um, although he, he handles himself like an old person sometimes. <laughs> but he's funny, he's intellectual, and um, I've had great conversations with him, and he's a master, monster guitar player. Like, amazing. It's so nice. We're so lucky to have a person that works with the band in the band. Um, we're really blessed. Okay, my uh, musical background, uh, well, I've played since I was a kid uh, for like whomever I could find, so a lot of like garage bands that never got anywhere. Uh, then shortly after I matriculated, I met uh, the guys from the Cavalier, jammed with them, and then I went to study music at the Technicon in Pretoria. And then shortly after that, um, well, not shortly, like then I did a few jazz bands and everything. And then, yeah, then I practiced here the one evening and met Paul. And now I'm an ATFN because he, he saw me play some uh, jazz guitar. And he was like, yeah, lacquer. That's a lacquer jazz solo you did there. Lacquer man. And I was like, yeah, cool. Then we're best friends. Um, so I got the track from Paul and this is the first track I did with ATFN. Uh, so I had to, well I initially started working it up with my ear and Paul guided me through some of the other, other parts of it. It's quite an insane track. It doesn't sound that insane at first and then you start learning it and then you're like, okay, wow, this is, this is some crazy shit and then you and then you enjoy it and it's it's a very fun song to play and I must say um, I, I'm not really that into Afrikaans music but this is like one of my more favorite Afrikaans tracks I would say like if not my favorite Afrikaans track. I think you have my bad side here though. Oh no look how mooi, mooi, so mooi, so mooi, sunburned face, so mooi. My yeah. doctor said I must keep drinking the vitamin D. I'm like, nope, I'm, I'm in the sun enough. 20 minutes a day and then you're all good. Yeah, well, even more than 20 minutes a day. Just, and you're all good. Just drink the vitamin D, fuck's sakes. Yeah, I've been doing um, engineering for about 25 odd years 
and I've always focused on drums, especially live. You've got to have a really good drum sound live. And now recording, oh, the best. Sorry, I had to stop that. <laughs>